Hi everybody, it's <coughs> Kathy, and I'm here to do a BJD <coughs> tag for Doctor Who. And Chris is with me, and he has <coughs> his brand new little Doctor Pop toy that he got yesterday. And I'm wearing my 50th anniversary t-shirt that has all kinds of doctors on it. Um, and we'll get started with the tag. So, question number one. Doctor Who regenerated 12 times so far. Have you reshelled a character? And if so, which one have you reshelled the most number of times? Uh, I kind of think of Doctor Who as the ultimate reshelled character. Um, are you are you in the running for that title now or, or not? Um, number two, each new doctor picks out their look from a room in the TARDIS that's absolutely full of clothing from all over everywhere. And we've had doctors with long, stripy scarves that reach the floor. We had a doctor who wore a suit and had kind of plaid pants. Um, we had a doctor who had the celery in his um, uh, vest pocket. We've had bow ties, and we've had fezzes, and we've had leather jackets, and, and long trench coats, all kinds of things. So the question is, if you could send one of your dolls to that room, who would you send, and what do you think they would come out dressed like? Question number three. K-9 was the fourth doctor's companion slash robotic computerized dog. Um, and the question is, what pets do your dolls have? And um, yeah, or maybe do they have pets at all? Number four, companions. It's no fun to go through life without a companion. And doctor almost always has a companion traveling with him. And the question is, do you have any dolls that don't have a companion? So loan dolls that um, maybe they're the only one in that size that you have and you're fine with that, or um, maybe they're just, you know, they're a doll, they match the other dolls you have, but you don't put them together at all and you keep them separate. So that's number four, companions. Number five is the TARDIS, and TARDIS is an acronym that stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. At least I pray that that's what it is, because I don't want hate mail. Um, anyway, the question is, are there any of your dolls that are from other times, other places, other dimensions? Um, number six, bigger on the inside. When you first enter the TARDIS, or when people first enter the TARDIS, they always say, a lot of the times they'll back up and they'll look on the sides and then they come in and they go, it's bigger on the inside. So that would be great if we could have um, spaces bigger on the inside. But my question is about dioramas. How do you manage dioramas for your dolls in the sort of shelving kind of space that we have normally? Um, do you set up your diorama and take it down as soon as you finish taking pictures, or have you found, um, have you donated a whole room of your house to dioramas for your dolls? <laughs> what do you do? Um, number seven is exterminate, and the Daleks are one of the bad guys in, um, a recurring bad guy in the Doctor Who. Uh, shows and the question is do you have an a shelled bad guy character so do you have actual dolls in your collection who are bad guys um, number eight the last of the time lords the big thing made of at least in the first ten doctors um, about the Doctor being the last of the Time Lords. There was a race called the Time Lords, and and um, all the rest of them were killed in the last Great Time War. Um, and so the question is, if you could only keep one of your dolls, 
which one would you keep and why? I know, it's a tough one. Who wants to think about only having one of our dolls? Um, the next one is number nine, and that's Cybermen. Cybermen were developed as upgrades to humans. And so the question is, have you upgraded any of your dolls, either by doing modifications or by hybriding maybe different hands, maybe a different torso joint, whatever. Tell us about some of your adventures in upgrades. Um, number 10 is the sonic screwdriver question. And the sonic screwdriver is a tool of the doctors that can do practically everything. So what tool do you use with your dolls that is the most practical or the thing you use the most often? Number 11 is River Song. River Song is the doctor's wife. Um, she was born as Melody Pond. Um, she also, in other times when she appears, goes by Mel's, by Melody Malone, um, and obviously River Song. So the question is, do you have any dolls that have um, multiple personas or who, when, when they're with one group, go by one name and with another group go by another name. And last but not least is number 12, Bad Wolf. Throughout a lot of the um, shows, you randomly see the word Bad Wolf scrawled on a wall or somewhere, um, and but you never know what it's about. And then later you eventually discover, and you know, spoiler alert, um, that Rose Tyler when she looked into the heart of the TARDIS, the time vortex entered her and she traveled all around and wrote Bad Wolf all over everywhere so that um, she would, when she came across them later or earlier, um, she would remember the connection that she had with the doctor. Um, so my question about this one for dolls is, do you have some recurring um, theme or symbol or words or um, maybe something that keeps happening over and over again in your doll story. So that's the 12 questions for the BJD Doctor Who tag. I'm going to put, look down, <laughs> the questions are going to be down there so that you can see them. Um, please share, uh, please answer. Uh, tag me if you answer so I'll know that you did it and I can watch it and, and comment to you. And um, yeah, I hope you have a great day. Bye.